All right, hey Betty. So I just like really every time I turn around, Blackistan is doing something, and you fucking mules and you mammy ass bitches keep doing this shit. You going on capers and caping for Tyrone? Like no, just no. Let's watch this clip. 30, a shoplifting gang from New Jersey busted, caught on camera stealing more than $90,000 worth of luxury handbags in the Hamptons. Three suspects face charges tonight. Two are still on the run. The theft happened earlier this month inside a Balenciaga store. It's just one of several similar crimes all over the tri-state, emboldened criminals seemingly fearless of the legal consequences. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Thorne. It took the group from Newark just 24 seconds to steal 48 handbags from the Balenciaga store in East Hampton Village two weeks ago. When she went into the store, she asked about a pair of shoes. And when the uh, the clerk went to get those shoes, uh, the four co-conspirators rushed in. Police say the group made off with $94,000 worth of merchandise and jumped into a Durango, but police were right behind them. During that pursuit, the Durango uh, uh, traveled uh, at speeds of up to 100 miles an hour. They were swerving into the on lane, on uh, coming lanes of traffic in an attempt to get away, and uh, the East Hampton Village Police Department terminated the uh, pursuit at that time because of the uh, the clear danger to the public. Eventually, the suspect's car became disabled around the LIE in Wading River, and police caught the suspects on foot, all except this woman, the one who first came into the store asking about the pair of shoes. She remains at large. Ali Harris, though, was in court today in Riverhead facing charges stemming from the incident. He was released without bail. Basima Davis was held on $150,000 bond because police in Nassau County just arrested her in January in Roslyn Heights for allegedly having stolen property and burglar tools. She was arrested then with another group of people from New Jersey. Another man allegedly involved in the Balenciaga incident, Jamal Johns of Newark, was also in court today. He remains in custody because he already has prior convictions on grand larceny and burglary charges. Wazir Rogers, he did not show up for his court date today, so he is now a wanted man. So there you have it. You got the mammies. Oh, out here doing committing crimes with um with Tyrone and shit and stealing four ninety four thousand dollars worth from of Jersey merchandise. Not not a couple thousand, nearing almost one hundred thousand. So, you mammy bitches gotta stop. You mules, you, you really need to stop. And I, it's not a good look. Committing crimes while being a black woman, that's, that's not it.